what's up guys and welcome back to another video i will try to make two videos a week more than that who knows so i got the arx 460 xfx edition for 70 dollars on black friday uh, so i was going to make a hundred dollars gaming pc but i had an issue where actually the gpu didn't post any signal but i actually managed to fix the problem these are the things that i have done and uh it may help you so yeah if you have the same problem with the gpus you have four things to do number one is to check your cables i mean uh, the gpu had a dual dvi d port an hdmi 2.0 port and display port 1.4 and i had an old samsung monitor that has a max resolution of 768p and it doesn't have any hdmi port but has a dual dvi d port so yeah and uh, i was working on vga actually so yeah i got an adapter for about a dollar but still the gpu didn't post any signal so i got the wrong adapter back before i buy the right one i believe i got the dual dvi dash i so i thought that i have ruined the port you know maybe i was so stupid and i just destroyed it the moment i got it so if you've done that and your GPU still didn't post any signal, which gets me the number two, reset your BIOS. I don't know for some reason actually when your GPU don't post any signal, they recommend it to reset your BIOS. And I think that the easiest way to do that is actually by removing the battery that's on top of the PCIe lane or the battery that's in your board. It's really easy to remove actually. So if this didn't work, then you should update your bias and that doesn't mean that the new gpus won't work with the old motherboards but there are some boards that have problems with pcie lanes and uh, was fixed by updating the bias so that's a thing that you should also check out but i've actually won't lie to you i've did all that and still nothing has which lead me to the conclusion that there is something wrong with my monitor, it's a really old one. Actually, new GPUs don't work on any type of adapter. They work on an adapter called Active Adapter that by some way transfers the signal from the GPU to the monitor and vice versa. Yeah, Passive can do that. And Passive adapters are really cheap, while Active aren't, they're about 10 to 15 bucks. I thought that XFX maybe didn't add a VGA port, that's stupid of them, but it turns to be that I'm the one who's stupid, there aren't VGA ports in the latest modern GPUs, including the GDX 1050 if that's what you're gonna ask. So yeah, I was actually hopeless, but I reached the final thing. What I did is, I got an HDMI cable and I hooked my grandmother's TV. It turns to be that my grandmother's TV, the 1080p TV, and yeah, it posts signal. So yeah, that's what happened with me. Well, all I've done is I got an HDMI cable, 3 feet, and the GPU works right away. And uh, I, I thought actually first that the XFX RX 460 don't need that 6-pin power connector that's in the GPU, but it actually can turn on without it. You've done all that and still you didn't get any signal. One of the things I would actually recommend you to do is, is to disable the Intel HD drivers in your device manager. And in the bias settings, you can do that too. But if actually this GPU still didn't work, then I'd recommend you to, well, I don't know, leave your problem down below. And keep in mind, if you want to get back to the Intel HD GPU and remove the GPU, it won't turn on. You either need to get another GPU that works with VGA, which in my case, I used the 9500 GT. Because remember, you disabled the Intel HD graphics. So I have added the 9500 GT. I went back to BIOS settings and I enabled the Intel HD graphics, which in the peripherals, I believe, and Intel display first. You can either switch it to auto and uh, an IGFX. So yeah, that's it. That's all I want to say. I think I'm on a hurry. School is like next week. It's really sad. I didn't know that. Nobody have told me anything. So I'm sorry, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. If this helped anybody, like, let me know. I would love to see that somebody actually had his problem fixed. Thanks and uh, peace.